Good morning, everyone. It's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I sell all of the fabulous Stampin' Up! products that I share with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is a beautiful Monday morning. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, staying home other than your um, needed supplies like going to the grocery store and things like that. So I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. I took the weekend off, so my blog post for today's card is not up yet. Saturday was a day of uh, yard work. Um, that was fabulous to get that done, get the gardens cleaned up a bit and all that. So I will be out there again this afternoon doing a little bit more. I hope uh, you guys got a little time to uh, do a few things as well. Um, Marshall has just joined us, so hopefully he stays out of camera view. So please say hi when you join in. I love to hear from you. I like to know where you're coming from. If you are a um, regular, welcome back. And if you are new, thank you so much. I am glad you found me. Please share my video, sharing is caring, and it is how I reach more crafty friends. And right now, with the way things are going, people need a little bit of um, inspiration and a little break from all of the news and that for a little um, virtual hugs and virtual um, happiness. So um, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm seeing that I have some angry faces. I'm sorry if I, and a sad face. I'm sorry if I have made you um, upset. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, um, today we are going to be doing a fun um, Z fold card, only it's going to be instead of the um, landscape mode, it's going to be portrait or instead of horizontal, it's vertical. So um, I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to get started. So hold on just one moment while we get things organized. Okay, you can see out my window and there is my lovely bird feeder. And hold on just one moment while we bring you down and up. My, we did a TikTok yesterday for my brother-in-law. Um, his he's got a big birthday this week, so my uh, we used my stand, so it's a little wonky. So it's going to take me just a moment longer to get things. adjusted here. All right. And we need to come out just a smidge more. It's Monday, so bear with me. What is everybody drinking this morning? I've already had my two coffees, so no more coffee for me. Good morning, Carol. How are you? All right. This is not... There we go. All right, we have it. Okay, so let's move you down just a smidge. I do apologize for the glare. Let's see if we can't bring that light over just a bit. Coffee, yeah, I've had two large coffees already, so no more coffee for me. So, um, this is the stamp set that we're going to be using. I haven't used it in quite a while. Sitting outside in the sunshine, how nice. Um, when the sun came up this morning here and um, started to warm things up, all of the frost on the trees melted and it was raining out in the woods behind our place. That was really cool to see. It was quite foggy this morning at 7 a.m. as well. 
So the items we're using today are, besides the under my umbrella, the I um, have embossed with the, oh my goodness, I all of a sudden can't remember what this is called, Coastal Weave. The Coastal Weave um, embossing folder, the 3D, so I've already got that embossed. And then I'm using the stitched shapes. I'm using the um, oval, and then I'm also, I've got some uh, layering oval dies, so I've already die cut that stuff out. So I've got um, my scallop here and a die cut, um, just whisk, regular Whisper White. And this is the card we're going to be creating. So generally when you're doing a Z fold, it is in the uh, horizontal, but this one here is vertical. So that's, isn't that a, just exactly normal? Just flipping it the other way, but isn't that so pretty? And I have used my um, soft sea foam to give me a little bit of shading there. And yes, I'm sorry, we're going to do a bit of fussy cutting this morning. So to show you how we're gonna do that, I have a piece of full thick whisper white. This is my card base. So this is your standard eight and a half by 11. And I thought it would be great to show you how you score once and cut once. So that way it's cutting down on your time. <clears throat> So we are going to score this at four and a quarter. And then half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth. And this little short tick mark is the eighth. So we're gonna score it at that. And then we have our entire sheet scored, making it so that we've got two of the exact same, cutting down on your time. So then we're gonna flip this around. Oh, let me move my stamps out of the way here. We're just gonna flip it around and move this over to five and a half to cut that half of 11 is five and a half on the a paper trimmer. Make sure it's all the way up. And there we have two card bases. Easy peasy. All right, so next, so we'll move the one aside. I'm gonna be sending out more happy mail this week. Um, <clears throat> so I'm doing everything in multiples. I hope you are too. I hope you're sending happy mail. So then to fold this, what you're going to do, I hope you can see my um, score line. So I'm going to fold it in half, burnish with my bone folder, and then pull this piece here where that score is. That is gonna be folded back and burnish and there you have how the card is going to open and close so let's get going on our other elements so i'm going to bring in i need to stamp I'm using this flower here and this flower here, the littler one and the bit bigger one. And because we're coloring with blends and the blends I'm using are Dark Mango Melody, uh, dark, or sorry, Light Granny Apple Green, Dark Flirty Flamingo, Dark Balmy Blue, and Dark So Saffron. And then, of course, we're using the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. 
So we need one, two of these, and one of these. And because these are photopolymer, I'm using my um, stamp and pierce mat to give it that little bit extra cushion. And I am coloring, as I had said, with the soft sea foam, and I've got a sponge dauber. So let's just set this aside for just a moment. And let's bring in my oval, excuse my reaching through there, and my layer for the um, inside of the card. So we're just going to <clears throat> ink it up, dab off, make sure I'm getting enough ink loaded on there, and then I like to roll the sides to get any of that excess that might be congregating there on the side. And then I'm just very, very lightly coming in and doing a circular motion. Giving that oval, that halo of color, just a very soft, Good morning, Tammy, how are you? So I'm just through the center of it, extending it down. And I wanna tell you guys, I am having a virtual, um, paper pumpkin party. I'm going to have it on my Stampin' with Marcy Stampers group. I'm going to be sending out an email um, this afternoon for it. Okay, so that one's done. And, oops, sorry, I just hit my table. What it's going to involve is, um, it's Anybody can watch. You have to be Canadian and you have to be a subscriber. Um, you have to have purchased your kit from me to get in on the party. I'm going to be doing some fun um, prize giveaways during my live where I will create my paper pumpkin kit. So the details will be that you can either subscribe through my um, store for this month's kit or I can order it in for you and you can pick it up on my porch. Um, they, are, they come wrapped in shrink wrapped so they're sealed so you can easily wipe off. Um, to disinfect but you're going to pick it up from my porch or you're going to subscribe right from my um, store and when everybody's got their kit it, billing is the 10th of the month and then the 10th is Good Friday that's this Friday um, so shipping won't be until the probably the 14th so we'll have to see whether we do it on the Friday night or sometime on the Saturday. I wanna make sure everybody's got their kits. And I'll go live and we will create the kit together virtually. We'll have a virtual paper pumpkin party and then I'm gonna do draws for some prizes for everybody, for um, those that have purchase the kit from me. You have to live in Canada to um, be eligible for getting a prize. 
and Paper Pumpkin is $30 plus tax. So um, if you want to just have me up my subscription, just let me know and I will add your um, kit to my subscription. Um, and then you can just e-transfer me the money or you can go on to my store and um, you can order it yourself through that. Okay, we're just going to set these aside now for a moment. We don't need this for the moment either. And we're going to do a little bit of coloring. We are not going to color... Um, there's no shading. So the Dark Mango Melody is for the centers. So just the center of the flowers. My little miniature tulips, or sorry, um, daffodils are up right now out in my front bed. And I've got a few random crocuses. These squirrels dig them up and they end up in odd places. So uh, spring is definitely here. Do you have uh, flowers popped up in your garden, Carol, when you're a couple hours north of us? So now my leaves are all the light granny. Okay, we're almost done. So have you been sending cards? I am over 30 now, and I'm gonna have another dozen that I'll pop in the mail today. Oh, I forgot. Your crocuses, Carol. I forgot to bring down the cards. I got Happy Mail, which was so fun and fabulous as well. Um, I got some in the mail as well as delivered to my mailbox. So uh, they definitely brightened my day. And this one here. So this is dark balmy blue. Kind of reminds me, I chose this color because I thought these kind of reminded me of forget-me-nots. And once it gets a little warmer, there's always a little patch of forget-me-nots in the woods right behind our place. Um, not sure how they ever got there. Birds, obviously. So this is the uh, dark flirty flamingo seed from a bird that got dropped or something I don't know but it's supposed to be another beautiful day today perfect for going out for a nice little walk get some fresh air all right, so we are done coloring. So now, as you can see, nothing fancy about that. I just wanted to get it colored. Set that to the side. Okay, so... When I am fussy cutting, I cut off any of that excess that is going to cause any kind of a hindrance. Makes it easier to have less. So, less cardstock. So, I'm just going to come in and I like to leave a little halo around. 
and I'm not picking my scissors up and taking them off. I am turning my hand to turn that cardstock. You need a decent pair of little scissors, I find, for fussy cutting. The bigger scissors, I find, are harder to control. It doesn't have to be perfect. You are sending somebody a smile, some happy mail. They're not going to judge whether your cutting is smooth. They're just going to be happy that you have taken the time to think about them. And right now we all need a bit of happy, don't we? I made the choice to no longer watch much news at all. It was stressing me out. So I want the good. Keep me in a happy place. And I'm not going to have you sit and watch me fussy cut all of this. I have already cut. So there we have just that little halo. I already have the other two cut so that you wouldn't have to watch me cutting. I just wanted to do the one so you could see how it's how I like to do it. So now let's bring our layers back in and we need to stamp our sentiments. So life's showers bring love's flowers. I thought that was a kind of appropriate sentiment because right now I would say that with the things that are going on it is a bit of one of those life's showers but everybody reaching out coming together supporting each other That is definitely Love's Flowers. Okay, so there. And then let's bring this one in. And then on the inside, rain or shine, you're always on my mind. I have been thinking about my ladies so much and missing hugs. So I want them to know that I'm thinking of them. So I'm sending them cards. My team, my customers, my friends. All right, so let's get gluing some of this stuff together. But with just doing that halo, doesn't that just make that pop off of there? The halo of color. Tombo. Okay, that one's glued. And there we have that one. And now we want to put a little bit of glue on this. And if you are watching and you would like a card in the mail from me, all you have to do is private message me your mailing address. And I would be absolutely thrilled to send you a virtual hug. 
Okay, so now I want one here and one here to frame that sentiment. And this one down here. Scooch that back just a titch. All right, so there we have that. Now my, this um, embossed piece of cardstock, because it is 3D, you want to um, take it and take your hand and just with some pressure, push that out a little bit so that it takes um, some of that shrunken up fibers and spreads them back out a bit so that it fits your cardstock better. So I'm just going all along the edges it's still embossed, but it's going to fit my cardstock just that little bit better. The sizing, as you can see, it's going to be a better fit. Good morning, Kay, how are you? So now what I'm going to do is you can take any kind of trimmer you've got, but because this here, you can see, this is two inches, so this one here needs to be, um, everything is an eighth of an inch smaller, so this needs to be, I'm just, one and seven eighths. So that here, so this line here is one and three quarters, so the next long line is an eighth, so I'm just gonna take this and line it up, making sure that it is flush up here. And snipping that in half. So then I'll just have to cut this down for another card. So there I've got my piece. You, instead of doing little pieces, I thought, you know what, let's just do the big, the normal um, four by five and a quarter and then cut it down and then I'll have another one for another card. So to assemble our Z fold, we are going to bring in the um, silicone craft sheet and my flirty flamingo here is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I will have the blog post done in a little while. I have to type it up. And then I will put this um, the video, I'll download it and put it on my YouTube channel as well. Speaking of YouTube channel, if you are watching this on the replay on YouTube, please click that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so that you get notified every time I go live. I'm at... Um, 730 subscribers now so I am inching closer to that magic number of 1,000 subscribers so I can go live on YouTube so my YouTube viewers will be able to do some live crafting with me instead of watching the replay always so I'm just making sure that I've got good even coverage and I'm just going to center this. Give it a press to get that glue to all those little nooks and crannies. And then I'm going to put this 
on that front panel, centering it. So that you can see I did my halo right in the center and my sentiment right in the center. So when I close that over, you're only going to see that. But then once I put this on, you don't see any of that. Hello, Sharon. How are you? So now you want to make sure that you only apply your adhesive to the one half of your oval so that you don't glue your card shut. That would not be good. And for my customers that are watching that had ordered the champagne rhinestones quite a while ago, as well as I think the pom-poms, they are back in stock so they will be shipped out. So I will be contacting you when your back orders arrive. Yay, I'm so happy that they are back. So you can see that there is not any glue there at all. So there, isn't that fun? Now let's take this up one more notch. I didn't do this on my original. Let's add a little Wink of Stella to these flowers because Wink of Stella makes everything better. Just adds that bit more sparkle, shine, makes them pop just a little bit and let's not forget the inside there we have it okay what do you think I hope you will try this um, doing this card this type of fold it's really easy as I showed you at the beginning um, really easy to create a different Z fold just by flipping that cardstock. So I will be uh, filling this in. Now the only thing is I'm going to keep my writing right here and right down here so that it's not all the way over here um, when I fill these in to send. Thank you Tammy. And I believe you have the um, Under My Umbrella bundle. So uh, you'll be able to recreate the, this card here at, at home very easily. Well, let's, let's just, while we're at it, give these flowers. So I have two more bases cut. So I will be uh, popping four of these cards in the mail. And like I said, I can send happy mail anywhere. I know that some countries have closed their borders to um, mail. But um, I know if you live in the U.S., I'll be able to send you a card if you would like. All you have to do is um, give me your uh, mailing address. Just private message me, and I would be happy to send one in the mail to you. Okay, so, and I want to remind you about the paper pumpkin. So remember, I'm going to do a paper pumpkin party. I will send an email out this afternoon for this. Um, the April kit is my wonderful family, so I think that's going to be perfect to um, send happy mail to uh, to those um, those of our loved ones. Our not just fa well friends, our family, my uh, team. I love my team, my customers. I love, love, love my customers. Um, they are family. They are friends are your chosen family. And uh, 
they are going to, I'm going to be sending out a bunch of cards um, to all of my family, everybody that is in my life I consider family, um, through blood or through our connection. Um, they all mean so much to me and I just can't um, thank them enough for the sunshine that they bring into my life. I'm going to get emotional here. It's Yes. So anyway, um, I will uh, sign off before I totally lose it and turn into a blubbering fool. So thank you. Oh, my light just shut off. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, remember, sharing is caring. Oh, please. It's Monday. It's one of those things that it just doesn't want to look at my light is flashing on and off, silly thing. It's giving me a hard time. Okay, so um, share my video, um, subscribe, comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you want uh, some happy mail from me, send me your um, mailing address. And have a beautiful, fabulous day. Stay Day, stay positive, stay bright, be the uh, sunshine in someone's day. Um, bye for now, and I will uh, see you back on Wednesday.